Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. What we're going to be doing in this video is further elaborating on my thoughts and opinions on the idea of purchasing advanced supply drops within Advanced Warfare. This is going to be referencing a lot to my last video. If you guys didn't check that out, there's going to be a link to it at the end of this video as well as in the video description if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. Basically what I do in that video is I open up 20 of these advanced supply drops. What are advanced supply drops? Perhaps you're unaware of what they are because they're only available, I believe, out on the Xbox One at the time of me recording this video. Basically, there are supply drops that you can purchase. Purchase. They have a variety of prices. You can purchase one of these for $1.99, or you can purchase three of them for $5.99, or you can purchase six of them for $9.99, or you can purchase 13 of them for $19.99, right? So basically, there are supply drops that you can purchase. You get three different items within these with a guaranteed professional grade item in your supply drop. So basically, you're going to get three items. One of them is guaranteed to be at least professional grade, not elite, but professional grade. Now, I made that video and I opened up 20 of them. I saw a lot of different people, uh, really very opinions saying that Nero this is a great video thank you for saving me money and saving everybody else money because that was the whole point I wanted to try and help you. I wanted to stop you guys from wasting money right then there's other people saying Nero you're being intentionally negative but that wasn't the whole point of the video the point of the video was I want to buy these supply drops I'm going to open them in a video so I can teach everybody something that I learned last year with Hearthstone so I keep referencing Hearthstone but it's completely relevant when it comes to this Hearthstone is a free to play card game and in there you can earn gold by doing different kind of challenges or getting three wins and stuff like that you can earn gold within the game and from there you purchase card packs and from there it's just like any kind of trading card game or i guess this is a collectible card game it's just like that where you collect different kinds of cards so you can make decks with them and you face other players and it's a fun time in there though you can purchase these cards with real life money similar to how we can purchase supply drops with real life money now here's the problem with it i've done a bunch of hearthstone card pack opening videos on my let's play channel you can see the comments you can watch those videos for yourself what you end up doing if you're purchasing something that gives you a random chance right you purchase something that is basically like a pack of cards which supply drops in a lot of respects are like a pack of cards you know you open it up and you never know what's going to be inside and i think that's part of the thrill of opening them i think it's one of the reasons people are kind of drawn to this idea but you're it's all random at the end of the day you're not guaranteed a return on your investment and if you do get something that you want that thing that you ended up getting now has a price sticker on it what i would do in hearthstone a lot was i would purchase you know 40 card packs, which is, I think, roughly around the price of $50 or something like that. But it's okay. I mean, I have disposable income. And I wanted to it. I play the game a lot. I could justify it, especially since it's a free-to-play game that I put a ton of time into. So I'm like, you know what? I put so much time into this game. I have nothing. Nothing's wrong to me about spending, you know, $50 to be out buy a bunch of cards from the game. So I enjoy it, and I'm going to get my money's worth by playing with these cards. But what ends up happening, and the reason why I don't buy packs of cards in Hearthstone anymore, is you'll realize eventually you're not really getting that many good things from these packs because they're random and eventually you just end up getting some a few things from that those pack openings that you want and now those things have a price point on them for example i could go ahead and i could open up 40 card packs right and i can end up getting three cards that are really amazing really amazing stuff i'm just so happy i was able to get i'm like yes this, these are totally gonna be awesome i'm gonna work these in these different decks they're gonna be great but the thing is since i got those three cards for 50 dollars you know what's the price on each one of those cards now you know, that's pretty freaking expensive. That's almost, not quite, but it's almost $20 per card I just paid. The rest of it was crap. The rest of it was crap I disenchanted because they're either extra cards or cards that just aren't very good that I have no need in keeping. I'd rather turn them into dust to be able to make other cards. That was the whole point of the video. I wanted to stop you guys from doing making the same mistake that I made in Hearthstone several times because it's fun. I understand it's fun to open up packs of things you know supply drops card packs whatever it's fun because there's always that random chance it takes you back to when you were a kid perhaps when you're purchasing pokemon cards maybe some of you guys still play pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh or magic the gathering whatever it's always fun to open up packs of cards and i get that but at the end of the day it's usually a very very bad investment especially in advanced warfare where you probably have a bunch of different weapon variants and stuff already so i saw the criticism a lot saying nero you got a lot of good drops in that video why are you being intentionally negative and i really didn't end up getting a lot of good drops in that video to be perfectly honest I got an elite version of the EPM3, which is a pretty bad variant, by the way, just because it increases the range. It gives it plus three to range, but that gun doesn't really benefit from the extra range increase because it already has like the best range in the game or some, some of the best range in the game by the very nature that's a heavy weapon. So that wasn't really a great upgrade. The KF5, I got the KF5 Spanner in that video, which is a great variant. By no means, it's a great variant, but I already had the KF5 Breakneck, which is one of the best variants in the game. And I think it's universally agreed that the KF5 Breakneck is the best version of the KF5 
five in the game, so that really wasn't an upgrade for me. The only thing I really got out of my 20 supply drops, my $32, was the exosuit. I ended up getting the exosuit for the Sentinel Medic, which you guys all know, that's like the setup I like to run. I love it. Like, ever since I started playing the game, I initially got, like, the Sentinel Medic helmet, I'm like, that's an awesome-looking helmet. Then I got the chest piece, I'm like, that's an awesome-looking chest piece. And now that's, like, the only set I try to run, I need the exosuit, because I, you know, still haven't had the exosuit. But aside from that, I got really nothing that I'm going to end up using from those supply drops. And that's really kind of a sad thing, because I paid that much money. But am I mad? Am I mad at Sledgehammer for that? Of course not. I'm not mad that I didn't get anything good, because I knew what I was paying for. I, liked, I saw the criticism a lot saying, Nero, you're going into this video really negatively. I don't think you even wanted to get anything good. You just wanted to rant about Advanced Warfare. And that really wasn't the case. Like I said, I just wanted to be able to show you guys what was going to happen, because I already knew what was going to happen. Regardless of what I ended up getting from that, I was still going to try and make the point, hammer it home to everybody, that you're not guaranteed a return on your investment when you're purchasing random things. Be it card packs, be it supply drops, it's the same thing. And I learned this last year while playing Hearthstone, and I wanted to kind of show you guys this here in Advanced Warfare, that you're probably not going to end up getting the thing you want. And even if you do end up getting something that's pretty good, that's going to have a price on it. That's definitely going to have a price on it. So for example, let's say you drop 10 bucks. You drop 10 bucks into the game and you purchase six supply drops with that. Chances of you getting something that you really need, not very good. Especially if you are actually a player that plays a bunch. Like, like a lot of people are saying, like, Nero, you already have a bunch of stuff. But for other people that are, that are like, new to the game, you know, they're going to really love this. Because they're going to get a lot of really cool stuff right away. And to that, I say that, that's true. I mean, if you just now started playing Advanced Warfare and you have, like, no time, like play time at all, therefore have no supply drop openings under your belt, you are going to get a lot of stuff. And it's going to feel really cool for you. But keep in mind, guys, I don't even have that much time played in Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare. I have like two and a half days, maybe. I'm intentionally going very slow with Advanced Warfare because when you're a Call of Duty YouTuber, I think a lot of people can understand this. You, you, Call of Duty is kind of like everything to you. And if you get burnt out on the game, right? If you get burnt out on Call of Duty, when you're a Call of Duty YouTuber, that's pretty terrible. That's a pretty awful spot to be. And I made the mistake a couple times where I get really burnt out on a Call of Duty game, you know, only a couple months into it. And then just making videos of it isn't fun for me anymore. So I try to avoid that here at Advanced Warfare. I don't want to get burnt out on the game. So I'm intentionally going slow with it. I have a bunch of other games I like to play as well. And of course, I still play Call of Duty, but I'm taking it rather slow rather than, you know, burning up the max prestige right away and then, you know, continuing to play and play and play and play and then make videos of it. And, you know, I don't want it to consume my entire existence because at that point, you know, being burned out so i don't even have that much play time in the game like two and a half days of play time and chances are a lot of you guys have a lot more play time than me and because of that you probably have a lot more loot than me because just by the very nature of supply drops you get them every 45 minutes of in-game time you're gonna have a lot more chances at loot so chances are you guys have a lot more loot than i do so chances are if you purchase these supply drops the chance of you actually getting something that you don't already have get thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. And then you look at the very fact that this is something that was unaware to me, but it's been brought to my attention. You actually get these advanced supply drops just by leveling up. Like, I think you get it, like, every 10 levels or so as you prestige. Like, I, people are saying, like, level 20, level 30, level 40. If that sounds right, feel free to uh, put the answers to that down in the comment section below. But, yeah, you end up getting one of these advanced supply drops just by leveling up. You essentially can get them for free, so there's really no reason for you to purchase these. At the end of the day, it can be a giant waste of your money it could be a huge waste that's why that's why i really want to hammer home with that video but i saw a lot of people saying oh nero you're just whining you're just complaining i think there's like there's a sunk cost fallacy coming into play in, in that respect. And if you guys don't know what the sunk cost fallacy is, essentially what it means is if you've put money into something, you're going to defend that thing. Whatever it may be, you cannot be wrong. You would not. You're, you think in your head you're the kind of person that would not waste their money on something like that, so you're going to defend it to the death. And I, I can understand that. But me, it, it didn't bother me. It's $32. You know, I, I wasn't upset that I didn't get anything good out of it because when I got to make a video on it, and hopefully I can save collectively thousands of dollars among all of you guys by not buying them because at the end of the day they're really not that good of a thing it's really not that good value now if i were to make a suggestion because i hate to be like the negative type right i never tried to be the negative type and really i, I didn't think i was being negative in that last video i thought i was helping people <laughs> that was the whole thing that whole point was to try and help people and make them and help you guys save your money rather than uh going out there and purchasing a bunch of these and realizing wow buyer's remorse man that sucks like even if you got something good that you wanted, there's a price for that. Of course, there's going to be a couple exceptions to the rule where they bought one supply drop and they got 
the AK-12 RAP or something in there, th those are the exceptions. They're, they're not the rule. The rule says that if you're going to go ahead and buy a lot of these, chances are you're not going to get something you want. Even if you do get something you want, it now has a price point. If you paid $20 and got one thing you wanted, well, congratulations, you just bought a $20 weapon variant. If you get three things for $20, three, keep in mind, three different things for $20, Keep in mind, guys, that's like almost, not quite, but almost $7 per thing that you end up getting from there. Think about that. Just think about that. Because not every single thing you're getting out of those uh, supply drops is something you actually want or need. Most of it is going to be random clubs and stuff like that that you don't even want. That's, oh, man, I just want to save people money. I just want to be a nice person. But then there's a lot of people that, forgive my language, but I think they're emotionally retarded on the internet and can't understand when someone's genuinely trying to help people. And instead, they're yelling at me and calling me names and being mean that sucked but hopefully i end up saving you guys a lot of money that's what i really wanted to do with this video was to try to elaborate on that a little further for people that may not have understood that the whole point of the last video i made was to help people and make it so you save your money rather than you know blowing it on stuff that eventually you're going to feel buyer's remorse on unless of course you don't buy your own things you know if you uh, ask your parents or something like that for money or something and you know you don't really care too much about it but if it's your own money like when, when you have a job and you, it, you can associate your time with money you know your time is worth a specific amount of money when you become an adult when you have a job and to be able to waste money that's like i don't want to waste money because i know exactly how long it's going to take me for for me to earn that way and that changes for people if you work a minimum wage job you know exactly how long it's going to take you to earn the 20 dollars you just spent that's essentially three hours of work you just spent if you work like a minimum wage job at least here in pennsylvania minimum wage is like seven oh god it's been a while since i worked at walmart um 725 I want to say I'm probably wrong on that somewhere in that somewhere in that range right minimum wage changes state to state but um yeah you know exactly how long it's going to take you to earn that money and so for you to waste 20 dollars it's kind of a bad thing right you don't want to do that so that was the whole point of the video I want to help save people money and hopefully this video will elaborate on that a little bit further and hopefully I can kind of encourage some of you guys not to purchase this kind of stuff I understand that I understand that when this comes to the PlayStation when it comes to the 360 and PS4 PS3 and PC there's a lot of you out there that are gonna be like Nero doesn't know what he's talking about I'm gonna go ahead and purchase these anyway I'm gonna buy ten dollars worth of supply drops and then you're not gonna get anything really that great you know and then you're like ah Nero was right dang it Dang it, Nero's right. Why is he always right? I'm not always right. But you're going to think that. You're going to think that. Even Once again, even if you do get something good, then you're going to realize, wow, I just paid $10 for a weapon variant. Cool. <laughs> you know? So I, that was the whole point, man. If I wanted to make a suggestion, once again, if I wanted to make a suggestion, because I don't like to be a negative person here on my YouTube channel. I try to be positive for the most part. I suggest Sledgehammer Games talk to Treyarch. Right, talk to Treyarch, get the code for the COD point system. I see David Vonderhaar and Michael Condry talking on Twitter quite often. You know, I'm sure they're friends. I'm sure they're like, ah, here, here's the COD point code. It'd be really simple to implement. Now, if you guys know what the COD point system is, is basically on the original Black Ops, they had COD points, and it was a lot different. Uh, you couldn't earn camos via challenges. You basically purchased them. You earned these, you earned these COD points by doing different kinds of contracts, which were a bunch of different kinds of contracts within the game. There's different kinds of daily contracts you can go ahead and finish, as well as you could go play. Uh, wager matches, which is how gun game and sharpshooter and stuff like that and, uh, end up being implemented in the Call of Duty series, and you could earn uh, different varying amounts of COD points from playing these games. And from there, you purchase your camos, you purchase your kill streaks, you purchase your guns, you purchased everything. There was really no unlock system; it was more or less just purchasing them with these COD points. We haven't seen it before or after Black Ops One, but it was a cool little system. And I wish that they would just add this kind of thing to Advanced Warfare. Make it so we have a set number of daily contracts, like have so we have a bunch of contracts we can go and do and from there earn different kinds of cop points get cop points for completing matches and then just have an in-game store where you can purchase specific weapon variants with your COD points. That would work out so much better than people spending a lot of their real life money to be able for a chance at something. That is my suggestion to Sledgehammer. Of course, they're probably not going to go down that road. I would be ecstatic if they did, but I feel as though they're just going to continue with the model that they already have because the model they already have is going to make them a lot of money, as sad as that is. Of course, I want the Call of Duty franchise to succeed. I want them to you know make as much money as possible. I want the consumer to be happy, but I don't feel as though the consumer is going to be happy when they realize 
they're paying a lot of money and not getting a whole lot in return. There's no guaranteed return on investment when it comes to purchasing advanced supply drops. Well, that is today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating where you guys feel the deserves. I know there's a lot of people that have already wrote this in the comments section. Where's DNA Saturday? That's going to be going up later on today. We're going to have three videos total today. We're going to have two episodes of DNA Saturday and, of course, this video. But I want to get this video up and I want to get it out of the way just to kind of elaborate further on my last video so there aren't a lot of people that are sitting there confused. The amount of people I had to block, man, on the last video just being vulgar about it just angry yelling swearing name calling and everything all because i said please don't waste your money on supply drops ah it was absurd it was absurd so i felt so a video like this was necessary and of course you can look forward to two different episodes of dna saturday going up later on this evening i hope you guys all enjoyed this video and if you did please be sure to leave a rating hope you guys all have a wonderful day